All right, round two. I've already put a new bulb in here for the wiper control. I will use some dielectric grease on these. I'll probably put a little bit on this also. And I'm gonna have to get to this bulb later because this is a different style bulb. It's one of the rounder ones. It's not I like the other ones that we just did, and this is for the heater and AC control. And all I'm gonna do is put some of that dielectric grease on these just a tad bit. So it's almost there right now. It's not installed yet. I still gotta get all the little connectors. I'm gonna get the connectors first and then I'll do the speedo cable last. Now this is the point where you guys are gonna be fighting your hands to get in here and looking back. And I did not take the steering wheel off. All I did, I just pulled it down just a little bit more to give me that little bit of leg room or room for the cluster to get in there. All right, guys. Light switch connectors on. Wiper switch connectors on. The connector for the actual instrument cluster is in. The ground. Still haven't got here yet, but we're gonna turn it on to make sure the lights all turn on and everything's on like it's supposed to. Look at that, guys. Clean and clear. Even got the little light right there for the wiper switch. Now this is the light that I messed up on. I thought they were all the same, but it's slightly bigger. And I want to change that one also in the future. But everything seems to be on, seems to be on, and the fastened seat belt does not come on at all. So it could be a pulled fuse. Not too sure. That looks clean, guys. Very clean. Can't wait to uh, turn this on when all the lights are off. So the bulb for the heater control unit is a GE 1895 GE 1895 all right got the heater control unit in place of the you know how it was with the one screw that was holding it in now I'm just about to push it in and put those four small bolts in with the 5 sixteenths. Alright, so I did bring that RPM gauge down. But the wires are super short and I wanted to put it up on the column using like a 3 inch hose clamp. But I end up, I'm going to put it right here for the time. Until either we get a new one or we just leave it as is. Uh, I also did take it apart. And it is luckily the same bulb size. And I've already put one in. Almost the same socket and everything. Put that in here. Put this back on here. And it only had it, and it just had a Phillips screw that was holding this in. And then I'm gonna have it sit up here when finished. All right, guys, still working on it. Still, let's check this out. 
way brighter. Super bright yellow now. And I mounted this using one of the screws from this, uh, uh, from the bezel, but it's not up here anymore. Down here, all these, the four uh, bolts that were here are now in, and I did find one screw at least to put up on the top rail right here. Still gotta find some more of those. All right, guys, dash is complete. Got the garage lights all off, garage door closed. I, don't, I didn't have bulbs for these. They're very, very small. As you guys can see, it looks clean. Do a quick little start up here, make sure nothing's gonna smoke. Last but not least, garage door still closed. This is the old dome light. Look how yellow that is. Yellow, you know, wore out. Not so bright. All right, new LED bulb in. Look how bright that is, guys. Very bright. I did have a little bit of trouble with the dome light, so I'll go turn on the lights right now and show you what small issue I did have. So I actually had to bend the two tabs in slightly because this bulb has those two pointy lights, so I bent them in to make them fit in perfect because the old light was more square and rigid. Now everything's all back into place. I still got to get some screws here. I do have that one single one that's right here. I'll find some later or just leave it the way it was. But for this look guys, for a small little budget, you guys could do this. That looks brand new again. Very nice look. Especially when it's going to come to night, you guys are going to look at it and say, damn. I did this too. But if you guys have any comments, please comment if you guys liked what you've seen. Like the video and stay tuned for another one and subscribe. Thank you.